Hello guys, it's been a while since I recorded the video, so here we are, I'm trying to install Waravel 10.x and Backpack and all of these using GitHub code spaces. So uh, about GitHub code spaces, what you need to know is that uh, uh, currently this is a free service for a certain amount of time per month, and we are actively using this in the university for PHP tutoring. And I will show you how to install Laravel quickly using uh, GitHub code spaces. So if you're interested in installing the older version of uh, Laravel 9.x, you could check the, the link in the article. The article will be linked to the video, so don't worry. And the first thing that you need to do is just create a code space in instance. You could use this uh, repository and in there you could go to code and then create a new instance. I have already forked this uh, in my own uh, GitHub and created a repository. And when you click uh, from the dots open in browser, uh, you or create code space on main, you see an information that uh, it's currently being set up for you. Then you see the actual setup of the code space. And uh, the end result is uh, you get this uh, window uh, from which uh, you already have uh, all the data uh, that uh, you might need. So you already have the, the code space. And the next tip thing that we will need to do is actually install uh, uh, Waravel. And in order for us to install Waravel, what we need to run is simply, hey, composer, create project, and uh, name it an example app. Uh, I'm running this directly. You could see how how quickly that it works. So uh, it will fetch all the packages that we need. It will create a folder for us. It will even install it. So it's it's already done. And the next thing that I will run is uh, enter the example folder and then hey artisan, please serve this. And when you click serve, uh, what happens now? It's it automatically finds out that you want to open a new window. And now we have four of them installed. It took us actually a couple of seconds and we are up and running. Uh, you, if you stop the server, it won't be live. It gets an automatic uh, domain based on the code space and this is for free. So and the next thing that we are going to do is actually check, uh, do we have uh, a database? Uh, currently I have, uh, uh, MariaDB installed, but if you don't have MariaDB installed, you could follow this one and install it. You could install it directly uh, on the code space or in your own computer. And the next thing is to make sure that uh, we have everything we need. So we need to create a database and also create a user. So I'm just creating the database here. And then when I say, hey, show me all the databases, I see that I already have Waravel database. And the next thing will create a user identified by a password user and you could use it. I have already run the second part. That's why I'm not running it now. And if you have successfully uh, created the database and you have already all the Waravel files, you need to update the .environment file. The .environment file is uh, inside your root folder. In that .environment file, you need to set up the uh, database name, the user, and the password for the database. Just for the sake of the exercise, you see that we create a user with a uh, uh, really wide range of privileges. This is not uh, how you should do it on production, but for the sake of the uh, tutorial, that's okay for now. So the next thing we have to run is compose a require and then backpack root. So I just exit the database, clear, run, and I get errors because I'm using the latest version. Sometimes uh, backpack is behind the latest version, so not fully compatible with the latest version of Laravel. So um, you have uh, several options. One of them is play until we find the version or for this uh, tutorial that we are doing, because I already played with it. Uh, I'm going to use version, version 631. So I'm just adding the version directly in Composer JSON, and then I will run, hey, Composer, please update. Uh, make sure to be really careful with the update because it's not only updating the 
packages about uh, backpack, it's actually updating Quaravel and the other packages you could see what it updated. And it's not, uh, um, if you haven't tested this, don't run it freely on a project, especially if it's an open source. I'm running it here because I'm sure that it works. So um, you see that I have a message that everything is installed and uh, I could actually start with the installation. So I'll start with the installation and show you a common error uh, with this version. So it tries to install the stuff, installs uh, generators, etc. Then uh, I need to choose a team. I'll use the default one. Uh, it will act automatically fetch it for me. Then it will ask me, do you want to have an admin user? I'll say no. And then do you, I want to pay for the paid stuff? No, I use this only for teaching purposes. So the free version is ideal for me. And then we have an error. And the error says, hey, I'm trying to access this, but it doesn't work. And one might say, okay, it's normal, it's expected because uh, the app is not running. So if you say, hey, PHP Arts and Surf, the app is now running, it should be okay. But you see it's on port 8000. And if you try to run the install again with the same options, just enter, 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 you have the same error because it's uh, trying to open this URL. And this URL is actually dead. It doesn't work because on uh, the code space, we are using uh, port forwarding, it's binding the port, so this won't work. And there are two ways how to fix it. One of them is make sure that you have the correct version. The other way around is more simple. Uh, what we can do uh, is actually say, hey, PHP Artisan Surf, use this white host and also use port 80. Running it like this now. Um, I get a new domain, uh, still I get the Laravel up and running, but if I try to install Backpack, the latest step, which is actually check whether files are accessible, are now passing. So uh, this is tricky. Uh, it might take you some time until you find it, but you see I have an admin area. And now I could go to register and I have an error. Why do I have an error? Because the login seems to work, but the register link actually points to localhost. The reason for that is uh, first env file. Uh, you could update the env file directly and say, hey, env file, you are not running anymore on localhost. You are actually running on this domain. And if you refresh and then go to register, uh, and to clear the cache, it should work. This is option one. And option two is actually make sure that it works correctly with uh, proxy. So currently inside app, HTTP, middleware, proxies. Uh, we could say which proxies do we trust? And here, if we say like wildcard, I know that from safety purposes, not ideal, but for the sake of the exercise, that's great it allows me to actually load the data. And I add my uh, uh, account, register, and I'm already inside the uh, admin area. So I could even run, hey, PHP Artisan, create, a, a create, read, update, delete for the user. If you run it, I decide that I would like to continue using uh, request files and I already have everything. If I refresh now, I have a CRUD for the user, but there is again another error. And the error actually shows uh, HTTP status code uh, 419. Uh, and this is, uh, let me see, is this a good website to show? What does it mean? Um, expired. And it says it's expired, but the reason for this very error is actually that if you open the network tab and try to access it, uh, we get an error because we are not allowed to actually read it. And we are not allowed to read it uh, because the CSRF token is not valid. So you could open the middleware and 
just uh, bypass it by saying, hey, if you try to access this from localhost or anything else, uh, please make sure that you are old it to old. Or again, at the wildcard, so because we are running this on this, this uh, virtual server for free, and then it will vault. So what I did was wildcard in the verify CSRF token and also in the proxies at the same. By adding these two, uh, you have a fully functional admin for a couple of minutes. This is how you could easily install and run uh, Laravel 10X and, Pethub, uh, and Backpack on GitHub Codespaces. So feel free to ask any questions or just drop a comment. Thank you.